PagePlus provides a wide range of professionally designed theme layouts, which you can use as starting points for your own publications, and then add your own pictures and text. In this tutorial, I'll show you just how easy it is to create an eye-catching, professional-looking document using a theme layout template. To open a theme layout, choose Use Design Template from the Startup Wizard. In the dialog, browse the theme layouts to find the one you prefer. You'll see that there's a wide selection to choose from. Each theme includes layouts for brochures, business cards, flyers, newsletters and posters. I'll choose the newsletter layout from the Spyro theme. The drop-down list lets you choose the colour scheme to apply to your document. You can choose from three schemes specially designed to complement the layout, or if you prefer, you can apply any of the colour schemes included with Page Plus. I'll choose Scheme 1. On the right you'll see the pages included with the selected layout. Click the checkboxes for the pages you want to use in your publication. When you create a publication from a theme layout for the first time, you'll be prompted to update your user details. These details will be used for subsequent theme layouts, so you won't need to re-enter the same information every time. The theme layout opens in the workspace. You can see both pages displayed on the Pages tab. At the bottom of page 1, the user details have been updated with the information I entered. If I want to make changes to this text, for example, let's adjust the font size. I can do this by selecting the text and then adjusting the font size on the context toolbar. I can also use the context toolbar controls to adjust other properties of my text, such as bold, italics, text alignment, even font style and size. The theme layouts provide placeholder picture frames for you to add your own photos. Click the picture frame and then browse to your image file. Or you can drag images directly from the media bar onto the frames. For instructions on working with the media bar, see the Page Plus Help or the How To tab at the left of the workspace. To navigate through the pages of your publication, you can use the arrows on the Hint Line toolbar. Or you can double click a page on the Pages tab to open it in the workspace. Let's add a picture to page 2 of our newsletter. When a framed picture is selected, notice that the Picture Frame toolbar displays beneath the picture. You can use these tools to adjust your picture inside its frame. For example, you can use these buttons to zoom in and zoom out, or use the Pan tool to reposition a photo inside the frame. To replace a picture, simply drag a different image onto the frame, or again, you can click the Replace Picture button and then browse for your image. Let's return to page 1 now and edit the text. To edit text, just click and drag to select it and then type in your replacement text. You can also double click to select a word or triple click to select a range of text. To format text, select it and then use the settings on the text context toolbar. To apply a different colour, just click a colour swatch on the swatches tab. If you want the colour of your text to change when you switch colour schemes, you should choose one of the scheme colours displayed at the bottom of the Swatches tab. To conclude this tutorial, let's see if we can find a colour scheme that better suits our winter newsletter. On the Schemes tab, simply click a scheme to apply it. All of the elements on the page that have a scheme colour applied update automatically. You can see how you can create quite a different look and feel simply by changing the colours used in your document. Well, that concludes this tutorial. You should now be feeling familiar with the tools and techniques required to turn a theme layout template into your own custom publication.